The terminus for Kuala Lumpur Singapore High Speed Rail will be located at the current site of the Jurong Country Club. The Singapore Land Authority gazetted the acquisition of the affected land today. The club will have to hand over the land by November 2016, some 20 years before its lease expires in 2035. Last week, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong announced after a bilateral retreat with Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak that Singapore will site its terminus in Jurong East. When fully developed, the area in Jurong East, including the current location of the club, will be almost as large as the downtown Marina Bay area. Imel Saad reports. Jurong Country Club and its golf course will make way for the development of the high-speed rail, which aims to cut travel time between Kuala Lumpur and Singapore to just 90 minutes. Authorities say the site is ideal due to its high connectivity. The Jurong East MRT station will be about 600 meters from the high-speed rail terminus. Both the terminus and the developments around the terminus uh, will be designed such that they will have a good and seamless uh, connectivity to the key MRT uh, stations as well as the integrated transport hub, especially via um, multi-level pedestrian laneways. Essentially, the whole area will be uh, quite well connected. I think traveling to this area to live, work or play will be quite easy uh, without having a heavy reliance on cars. Jurong East is located in the western part of Singapore, with slated to be Singapore's second business district. Existing developments include Jurong Lake, Jurong Gateway and the new Benting Hotel, all surrounding the Jurong Country Club. When fully developed, the entire site will occupy an area of about 360 hectares. That's about the size of the current Marina Bay area in downtown Singapore. This will involve putting doing a very comprehensive review of uh, how we like to develop and improve the public infrastructure uh, for the entire Jurong Lake district using this as an opportunity. Uh, it'll be pretty complex working with many agencies, but we'll try to do our best to get it done in time. Now, Twenty percent of the Jurong Country Club site will be reserved for the terminus, the rest for mixed development. So, when this area is fully completed, it will have a full range of amenities, including offices, hotels, retail malls and entertainment facilities together with new MRT lines and new transport as well as pedestrian nodes, Jurong East will truly be transformed. Customs immigration and quarantine facilities will be combined. This means travellers will need to clear customs just once when going to Kuala Lumpur or coming back to Singapore. Most of the rail line on the Singapore side will be underground. Separately, the Singapore Land Authority so it will work with the management of Jurong Country Club on the acquisition process. Currently, there's no alternative golf site uh, being given, but however, if, uh, you know, JCC should uh, request for an alternative social site, uh, that's something that uh, we can see whether we can take back and facilitate. The target for completion of the high-speed rail, which was initially 2020, has been pushed back due to the complexity and scale of the project. Leaders from Singapore and Malaysia will decide on a new time frame for when the trains will start running at the end of this year.